Hey folks, I was at a competition, a practical rifle competition, uh, a couple of weekends ago, and I witnessed something that I knew was going to happen at some point. One of the shooters, who's an experienced shooter, um, was transversing some fairly rough area between two barricades, and it wasn't the most stable situation. Um, and as he was moving, he had a negligent discharge. Now, fortunately, the gun was pointed in a safe direction. And again, this is a very experienced, talented uh, shooter, and we all can have bad days, right? So I'm not putting any um, negative, I'm not anything negative on, on, on this particular guy, the super nice guy. And, and um, what was interesting is many of the people that compete in these matches as competitive shooters, they believe that if I'm transitioning to and from barricades, I don't necessarily need to engage my safety. And man, I'm just telling you that for me is a no-go. So for me, every time I'm moving right between areas here, clear rifle, anytime I come off point and start moving in any way, shape or form, right? I'm on fire. You can see I've actually painted this in so other people can see it. And as soon as I move, gun's on safe, back on safe. Get to a target again, off safe, go to the trigger, on safe, any time I move. Now there are some competitors who tell me, well, in combat, you wouldn't do that. Well, it's interesting because I've talked to several combat vets, including uh, my friend, Greg Cruz, who many of you know, and I asked Greg about that. He was talking about a firefight that he had been in um, with a group of Taliban. And he had to go back multiple times to the car that they'd been ambushed in to get additional, um, basically speed packs, um, additional magazines and grenades. And I asked him about that. I said, so as you're running back and forth, he said, of course my safety's on. And his point was, if you are trained properly and you're moving around other people, particularly if those people are in front of you and they're good guys, if you don't have your safety on, no matter how good you think you are and how much finger discipline you have, if you slip or you move and for some reason your finger ends up here because you're trying to, whatever, it's a reaction or you hit something, you've now potentially shot one of your friends. So, folks... You can disagree with me on this and you can say I'm not going to do it when I'm competing and I'm telling you that's your choice. Uh, I would strongly recommend that you do. Anytime I move, gun is on safe. Anytime I'm static and my sights are aligned on trigger, right, safety off. Anytime I move, safety on. You don't have to do it. But in my opinion, from a safety standpoint, and like at the end of the day, we all want to be safe. We have to use the safety, the manual safety that's on the gun, and it doesn't change any time. I mean, if somebody really believes that that eighth of a second or whatever it takes to flip the safety is going to affect their ability to win a match, um, you know, that's up to you. I'd much rather not uh, worry about winning the match. I'd rather worry about being safe first and keeping all those around me safe as well. Hey guys, um, what are your thoughts? Something you do? Something you're thinking about doing? Something you're not doing? Whatever works. Safety first though. Thanks for watching guys.